people. What's going on, everybody? This is Black Aries. Giving you a pretty uh, random, random video. Um, I don't really got a script for this, which I guess makes it a regular Black Aries video because I don't script anything. But uh, I just wanted to talk about something a little more personal than I normally do. Well, nothing. If you didn't watch my last video, ain't nothing more personal than getting curved out your soul. But tell us something a little more, you know, about life. Um, so the school year is about to start this next uh, next couple of days, and it's it's really weird where like that college is where dreams and like reality kind of collide. Um, you, <laughs> you know, everybody tells you you can do whatever you want. You just gotta, you know, there's always hard work. It just depends on what college you go to, especially when you're in high school. It's just SATs, SATs. You gotta do these things right, all this different stuff. But when it actually hits you. You know, when you're actually in college, like, staring down at the thing that you supposedly want to do for the rest of your life, which, by the way, can we just admit, like, off jump, that's a flawed system. Like, you're picking what you want to do for the rest of your life at age 16, 17, 18, you know, and then you have to commit, you have to spend thousands of dollars and commit to, you know, living a certain way and going to a certain place and doing these certain things. For something that most people end up not doing, you know? And it's like... And if you think You're about it, like, right most people don't even go in for the thing they want to do in the first place. Like, you know how many fine arts majors go in for business? Because they felt like they had to? Because they, they got, you know, it, it got put into them at a... Got, like, hammered into them that that's not the right thing to do. Because they wouldn't have a job, they wouldn't have a future, whatever, whatever. And so they, they're turning into business majors. You know how many... You little punk, I'm going to make sure I killed you. That's all I wanted to do. Um, you know, I mean, that's not what I really wanted to talk about. But I'm just saying, like, you get cornholed and you get pigeonholed, whatever the hole... Uh, that came out wrong. Anyway, uh, whichever one it is, into things you don't want to do. And that's kind of what college is. Like, you kind of get your dreams kind of snuffed a little bit, you know? And... I've just been thinking about it a lot lately, especially because this is about to be... Jesus Christ, I've been in school for a while. Um, so I'm 20, but I, I skipped a grade, right? So I've been in college for my first two years I spent at, you know, community college. The My third year I went to Georgia State. Artillery destroyed. Um, and then my, this is my second semester of my fourth year, where I'm at right now. And I'm kind of nowhere near done. I'm not. By the way, people told you, for, and I told you four years, they totally lied to your face. It's not four years. It's like five. Um, and this one changed, probably. Because you most likely just spent your time doing some extracurriculars and whatever, whatever. And, and you failed that one class or got a D in it, and that was a prerequisite for something else. Yeah, it, it's just stupid stuff all the time. Um, and I, I'm, I'm, look, I'm staring down at my major, realizing there's nothing in this field that's going to get me a job. And... I'm a, I'm an English major, as you guys don't know, which is like, really, Aries? I was like, yeah, well, actually, if you guys didn't know this about me, I love to write. I love to write stories. I love, um, I love reading. I love, you know, all that nerd shit. Um, because I'm a nerd at heart. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nerd. Um, and, I mean, like, I remember, like, 10 years old, I'm sitting here trying to write, you know, start my own, writing my own novel and stuff like that. I'm, I have a whole book of poems and short stories and all the different stuff, and, you know, when like, my book, like the book I was writing at 10 years old, it was about vampires, which now sounds gay, but mine was bad. At, like, my, my, like, and it was so bad too. Twilight, like, literally, it literally sounded like this girl, like whoever made, I don't know the label she could be Twilight, but she like took my whole game plan. Like my my, my vampires just weren't vampires. They like had like abilities on top of being vampires. You know, and I was like, oh, that, that, that's like revolutionary. I'm like changing the game. You know what I'm saying? Nah, apparently a whole like, you know, trilogy was made off of it. I'm like, that's stupid. Like, I came up with that. Oh, come back there. Oh, I'm not gonna win that fight. Make up. Yeah, like my like my my uh my vampire's has the ability to stop time. Apparently I heard that one was one of them. Like Ah, oh, he got me. You know, one of my other vampires has like a you know, fire ability. Like I was I was going in with these with these what's it, ten years old? Uh oh, you about to die. You might not be. Okay, I'm gonna die. Um, and, and either way, it's besides the point. But 
Yeah, man. Like I, I love the, that. That's my creative outlet is writing, and like I actually have a. Um, so what I wanted to go to school for, originally was game development, which, you know, I play video games, so I'm, I'm automatically like, oh, I, I would love to make video games, but it's it's way harder to do that than just um, than that of off rip because that's like. Just saying I play video games is extremely different than, you know, wanting to create them and actually having the the patience and oh, what the heck, and all the other stuff to do those things. But what I want to do with Storyboard, right? I actually have, like, really, I genuinely do have a uh, video game already, at least the uh, a meaty plot line, I would have to say. I wouldn't say it's not bare bones. I, I have more than just the bare minimum. Um, but I do have a whole plot line of a video game that I, that I wrote out out. I have three games and I have a spinoff. You know what I'm saying? And I I, I, mean, I, I don't know if you guys want to hear it, but I can tell you guys the whole story and plot line of it. Um, I'm really proud of it actually. I mean, I, I feel like it's pretty good. But of course, everybody feels like this is pretty good, you know. And then that's why, like, it's where reality kind of hit my my dream. You know, I, I'm in college and I'm like, the community college I was going to, they don't have a they don't have, they don't have a game development, you know, major. You know, they don't have a uh, so I kind of had to, like, okay, well, maybe I can do, like, an English major and kind of, like, still... Get out of here. You know, I already like to read and write, and maybe, you know, if I go for an English major, I can still do... Somewhere, get a decent job, you know. Um, but still kind of possibly be in the field that I... I don't know, man. Like, I... I that's where I was sitting there, like... I, I have these dreams, I have these things I want to do, right? So, for example, game development, and that's not realistic in my situation. Um, because how many people have an idea for a video game? Honestly, every gamer has an idea for a video game. And not only that, every coder has an idea for a video game. I don't know how to code. I, I, don't, I don't do computers. Well, I do, but, you know, I don't do, like, actual techie work. I don't. So, I don't know, there's just a lot of things that kind of, like, just hurt because immediately, immediately going into college like I immediately had to take you know liberties and things like that so I, I so I try to do communications right I was like if I can't satisfy my gaming needs I'll satisfy my need to talk I love to talk right that's why I'm you know that's why I do what I do you know <laughs> obviously with this marvelous speaking voice uh, I love to talk so what I wanted to do was like hey, yo I'll, I'll, I love sports I'll go on ESPN I'll do my thing there um and I would, I mean, of course, that's high. That's high, Roland, right? But I would love to be a uh, broadcaster, somebody, you know, whose voice you know off those highlights. You know what I'm saying? I would love to do that, right? So I went to school for, so I changed from, I took my English that I was doing, and I went into journalism, right? And found out journalism is actually not what I wanted to do. It was communications that I wanted to do. But I spent money and time in a whole year at Georgia State Doing journalism when I actually should have been doing communications, there actually is a difference, and I wasted a year basically. Um, and and now I'm kind of staring at my like at my life right now. Like last semester was my first semester back at the community college where I started at, right? And now I'm looking at it like I just wasted a year at Georgia State. Like my my English degree was leading up to going to Georgia State and finally getting into journalism because I mean it's not like journalism is bad, but what I really wanted was communications. Like, for example, in journalism, they're like, yo, you gotta find the truth. Doesn't matter what happens, who stops you, who bribes you, you gotta go on the beat. You gotta, I'm like, whoa, 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 I wanna talk about highlights. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I wanted to talk about basketball highlights, right? And the fact, even if that is the lowest level of journalism and you have to work your way up to that highlights, I hated the lowest level, so what in the world makes you think I'm going to grind through that? You know what I'm saying? I, it, was, it, was, it, was a, it was a reality check. I'm like, this is not what I'm cut out for. It's not what I want to do. Right? Not that it was hard, but it was the fact that like, I hate this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate being that person who's like, I don't know. It just, it, didn't appeal, it just didn't appeal to me at all. Right? And so I'm kind of having like a crisis, like an identity crisis right now, where it's like I have two and a half years of English under my belt. Right? For what? For, for 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 what really, like I I Ugh, still I don't know what I'm doing, and the problem is with that is 
you can't not know what you're doing once you spend time tens of thousands of dollars doing what you're doing. You see what I'm saying? You don't really have the luxury to not know what you're doing. And like and it happens to all of us. Like I, I know somebody this is the real reason why I wanted to make this video. I know a friend of mine right now who she spent her first year of college, first year in a semester of college at Virginia Tech, right? And she had an incredible time, had, you know, met new people, had new experiences, just was able to be herself, but she didn't have the grades to back it up. And on top of that, you know, since she was enjoying herself so much, she kind of realized that her major isn't what she wanted to major in. Uh, now she's sitting here, her parents are like, we can't keep affording to send you to this college that's out of state if you're not bringing, if you don't have the grades to back it up. Sorry, but we're, we're bringing you back home. So now she's back home about two days before the semester starts. She can't enroll into a new college because it's way too late now. Uh, they want it, Nobody's going to accept you this, this this late. And so she has to take a semester off, a semester and a summer off, if really being honest. Um, and just do whatever, basically. And you're sitting here, and she's like, I, I don't know what to do. Like, I, I put so much time into this. And it wasn't like she was taking terrible grades, but you know, like, she needed, like, grades that I paid for school. She was getting grades that I kept her in the college, basically. You see what I'm saying? And that doesn't work when you're out of state and your parents are really, really, oh, that laggy lag are giving everything they, they can to send you there in the first place, you know? Um, and I, I, I don't know. My, my end goal right now... Uh, which you have to make a new one. My angle right now is I'm trying to get into education, which doesn't sound like the most glamorous thing, but, you know, let's say, you know, Aries is going to be teaching the young kids about grammar or whatever it is. I, I got to change, I got to turn these, like, this, these English classes into something, you know? And... I don't know what I'm going to turn them into, but I, I guess that's the best idea. Because it's not it's not ideal. But that's the thing about college. None of it's ideal. None of it's actually what you really want to do. What I would love to do is actually... Cause I, I actually uh, sent in a resume to Infinity Ward one time. And I haven't told... I don't think I've told anybody this. Oh, you better die. Yoink. Anyway. Uh, I actually sent in a... Uh, the resume to, to Infinity Ward. Ah, oh, that was a bad idea. And it was basically like, look, I don't have any experience. I don't have any whatever, but I just want to learn how to make video games. That's all I want to do, right? And they actually sent me an email back, and they were like, appreciate the uh, re resume, whatever, whatever, but uh, we we don't we don't we don't need somebody who don't know what they're doing. And I was like, well, there goes my hopes and dreams right there. But um. I, I I don't know, man. I, I know for a fact that teaching isn't really what I want to do, and who knows? I might come back to this video years from now and be like, yo, teaching was the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm kind of glad I stuck to Georgia State, you know? I'm kind of glad I didn't go for the uh, the whole, um, the whole, you know, journalism, whatever route. I'm kind of glad I didn't do this and this, right? And, but the thing about it is nobody knows, and, and, and like, that's the scariest part about any of this. It's the scariest part about freaking life, man. Like, you don't know what decision was a good decision until later. Until later, later. Because even if it was a good decision at, in the moment, give it a, a few weeks, a month, whatever, whatever, still a good decision, it still might end up being a sucky decision. You just gotta, you just gotta, let, it, you gotta let it marinate for a second. But you're gonna see how bad it is a little bit later, you know what I'm saying? Or good or whatever. Like, that's the thing that absolutely terrifies me because... I decided to go to Georgia State for a year, and I left because I couldn't handle it. And that was one of the probably most embarrassing things of of my life. Like, I couldn't handle the big college. I couldn't handle the, you know... And Georgia State isn't even that crazy of a college. It really isn't. And I couldn't even handle it. You know what I'm saying? I... Because I, 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 I didn't even tell my parents I left Georgia State until... Like three weeks into the, my next semester of the community college, like I waited that long. Like I didn't tell them the whole off time we were off. I didn't say anything because I, I was just so upset at the fact that I couldn't 
handle my own. You know, I, I, I needed help. I, I needed to get out of there. That I couldn't do it, you know. But I don't know if that was a good decision or not for me. Like, I, I'm happier than I was at Georgia State. But career-wise, maybe I shouldn't have been a bitch and I should have just stayed there and took it, you know. And those are things that I'm going to have to live with until, nope, I'm just going to have to live with until, you know, I, I figure out if that was a good decision or not. Uh, and with my friend at Virginia Tech, like, I told her, I'm like, yo, you don't know if coming back home, because she has to come back home to, 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 to stay out to Georgia right now. I'm like, you don't know if this is actually a good decision for you or not. You know, it could actually be the best thing for you. Close to the home, you got a better support system. You're not out of parties all the time. I'm sorry. I know you like to twerk and all that, but I mean, Still twerk in your room. Don't be twerking at parties. You know what I'm saying? You need to study. Whatever. Whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you don't know if this was good for you or not. That's the idea. Um, it doesn't feel like it. I know it don't feel like it, but it, this might be the best thing for you. It's just, it's scary to have that, your plans be completely, um, taken away. You know, like you, you were so sure of something and then just completely take it away. And now you're stuck with your plan C, your plan D, your plan whatever, whatever, because of like mistakes and issues and, and failures that you, that you had. And I, I don't know, man, I'm, I'm, I want to do education now just because that's like the best bet, I, I guess. I, ha I have way too many... Too many English classes to not, you know. And I feel like I'd be a good teacher. <laughs> you know, I'll be the type. I'll be the type of teacher to be like, look, I see you flirting with that girl in the back of the class. Okay, if you get your work done, y'all can still sit together. I'm not the type of teacher to be like, you guys break this up. No, you go to the side of the room. No, 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 no. Because I know it's the only class you got with her. Why would I do that? That's rude. That's mean. Why would I do that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's like this is the one class you got with her. This is the one time you get to talk to her. You gonna if you get your work done, I am who am I who am I to stop you from multitasking? You know what I'm saying? That's just that's ridiculous. So that's, I feel like I'd be a good teacher. You know, but I I I guess my my never my my last thing I wanna say about about this. This is a lot of sad stuff I'm throwing at you the exact same time, because I'm just lost. But it's just never give up on yourself. Not don't give up on college. Not don't give up on whatever, whatever, because pretty much everything else will fail you. Don't give up on yourself, because find some other way to make it. Find some other way to propel yourself to success. I don't know if this education thing is going to work out. I might have to go and figure out something else again all over again. Who knows, right? I don't know what's going to work out with my friend, her being at home and not going to school. I mean, she might not ever go to school again because she went. She took like a semester and a summer off. She was making too much money. She liked the money better. She was like, whatever, whatever. I can. You know, she's at a company where she has a lot of upward mobility. She's like, why would I go anywhere? You know what I'm saying? Why would I do anything else? Um... Who knows? I, I don't know, and that's terrifying. Like, <laughs> that's really scary. I could get stuck in a teaching job for the rest of my life, and I feel like I, I'm never going to have finished that dream of making my video game. You know, I'm never going to finish my, you know, have that dream of having a really successful YouTube channel because I'm stuck grading papers all the time, you know? But I, I, I hit a wall. No, scratch that. A wall hit me. <laughs> wall hit me, kicked me down, punched me in the face a few times, like, yeah, you like that? Like, that's, that's what it felt like. And now I'm trying to get up and find a different way. That's that's basically what it is. Um, but just never give up on yourself, man, because no one else is going to help you. And, th and that's, that's another huge thing about college, is no one else is going to give you help until you ask for it and until you take it. You, need, you, you ask for the help, but you need to take help. Because people like people don't like to help people that aren't themselves. You need to make them help you. You know, if you need the help, you need to go and get it. And ah, oh God, it's rough. It's it's so rough to try and make something of yourself in a world where.
everything the ordinary is, ex you know, the extraordinary is ordinary. Like, you can't... Everyone's got an idea for something, you know? Everyone's, everyone's a hard worker. Oh, Jesus Christ, that dude just crawled out of the... Jesus. Anyway, ev everyone... You're not, you're not gonna meet somebody who hasn't had the same exact idea as you do. You know what I'm saying? It's not to say everybody's, you know, nobody's an individual, but uh, say like, it's so hard to do well in this life. And on top of that, you're not gonna try for yourself. You're not gonna get anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just point blank. You know, you're just not gonna get anywhere if you don't love yourself enough to try for you. You know? And I'm still learning. This ain't like, no, I'm some guru, just whatever, whatever. I, there's a lot of things. I don't like me. If we're just being straight up, I was supposed to say a lot of things I don't like about me. No, no, no I, I don't. I don't. I don't like me. I don't. I don't like me at all. But I know that future me would be pretty pissed if I just sat here and chilled while my life was kind of not going in the direction I wanted it to, and just sat there and let it. You know, um, I feel like the like the adult thing to do would be to give my heart to trying to make my life better. And, like I said before, I don't, I don't know what the future holds. Um, like, I would love, like, I, I, I've been telling people like, a lot lately, like, I would love to be a stay-at-home, like, worker. Like, I would love, like, I love my YouTube channel to be dope. You know I love my, I would love my YouTube channel to, you know, blow up overnight, wake up and have, like, you know, 200 subscribers. I don't need to work, you know, that'd, that'd be great. Or, like, I would love for, you know, somebody to really be, be interested in my writing and, be like, hey, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take a look at it. I'll see what you got. What kind of stuff like that? Let's turn it into a book. It won't be a video game, but let's turn your, you know, your your idea for this amazing story into a book. And it's like, you can't do those things unless you still set yourself up for it. You know, I'm not stopping YouTube. I'm not stopping any of this stuff. But if I don't keep on trying to give my heart to YouTube, or you know, you know, posting whatever I can, all these different things, you know. Nothing's gonna happen out of it. Or if I don't, if I don't keep just doing what I can in my own life, I'm gonna get complacent. I'm gonna get lazy. I'm gonna get too depressed to move, and that's not something I want for myself. Like, again, <laughs> that's, not, that's not something I want for myself anymore. You know, so I, I don't, I didn't really have a point to this. It's just, just don't give up on yourself, man. I guess that's if you could find a point, and that's the biggest point. Is don't give up on yourself. You, you have things to offer if you allow yourself to believe in yourself. You know, once you stop hating on yourself and stop hating on the things that you want to do and things you're, like, you're trying to do and all stuff, once you really sit down and look at yourself as a, as a, not as something that, like, that you're stuck with, but as an individual who actually has potential, you're going to realize you can do a lot. So... That sucks. I ripped you and I just shot you. That 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 is that is unfortunate. Anyway, but yeah, man, that's that's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, you know, all that all that jizzy jazz. Oh god, this is jizzy jazz. Anyway, it's late. <laughs> it's late. <laughs> but yeah. Oh god, I killed you. Okay, we're gonna end this stream before I do something stupid. All right, y'all. <laughs> y'all have a good one. I'll see y'all later. Peace.